Hello everyone, we are back today with another tutorial on the Zero Tenex Limited. So the Zero Tenex Limited co comes with an inbuilt 60 volt 28 AH battery that if you see in the video up above, that's where you access it, right in the front loaded battery pouch. Now for performance hunters or for tuning experts, we actually included a previously unknown Blue Smart Bluetooth BMS within that 28AH battery pack. Now this 60 volt 28AH battery pack uh, with its Smart Bluetooth BMS allows this performance hunters a wide variety of information and parameters uh, for you to tune, diagnose and repair your battery. All right. So for all you um, you know, tuners out there, uh, if you want to set your safety parameters, if you want to set your own performance parameters, you will be able to using this Smart BMS. Right? So let us introduce to you the Smart BMS system and you decide for yourself whether it's something that's worth uh, getting yourself into. Okay, so this is the app. We're using a smart, um, we're using an Apple phone, but there is a, an Android version too. But for this, for today, because I have with me a Apple phone, uh, where is Play Store, App Store rather? Okay, so we search for Ant BMS. Oops. There you go. So it's already downloaded on my phone. You can access it because we've got my 010X parked just beside me and I don't even need to connect anything. It just connects straight to my app. Okay, so in case you want to select a variety of different batteries uh, that are Bluetooth enabled to connect to, right now there's only one that you are able to connect to, so that's already been done. So you could just exit the device list, pull down menu, and straight away this is your dash. You have access to a whole variety of information, what's the voltage of the battery, how much current it's pulling, how much power it's pulling. So this is it. It's a 60 volt, which means that it's a, a 16 series, right? Okay, you'll see all the voltage um, it, of each series and it has to it has to fall within plus or minus one volt okay so if it's out of spec if out of balance it will exceed that plus or minus 0.1 volt rather sorry it has to fall within my plus or minus 0.1 volt of the of each other okay so you can see some are good some are you know it's self balancing all the time uh, you can see here auto balance, so it's you know it's, it's a smart BMS system, so it does auto balancing for you. Okay, so you leave it. Once you find yourself having a series that is out of balance, just leave it for a day, and it will find it will auto balance. All right. So by leaving it, I mean do not use it, do not charge it, uh, don't don't discharge it either. All right. So cell difference 0.1 volt. Okay, so that's within spec. Your battery is still healthy. Okay, what else? What other information do you have here? Okay, you have your uh, voltage use, uh, your voltage and your series uh, voltage, your current usage. Um, and this is a graph that allows you to measure uh, what's the highest and lower cell series um, and that's pretty much it okay so as you're writing right as you're writing uh, the scooter and you can look back into the history right you can look back into the history of the curve let's see if we can shorten the time okay so this only does snapshots of about five seconds or so right um, can't do that. We don't want to do that. Okay, so we'll go into the security and performance parameters. So for the security and performance par parameters, you can set uh, your protection parameters, which is 
you know when to shut off the battery when to cut off power uh, once at any cell series goes out of spec all right so in this case we set a, a lower limit to the cell to each cell series at 2.9 volts before it cuts off and shuts down the system which is you know why sometimes when you are at low battery situations the entire scooter will shut off um, and then we set discharge current limits at 90 amps uh, once it exceeds once it hits or exceeds 90 amps of total discharge current peak discharge current it shuts off too right it cuts off completely any current um, being discharged to the controllers all right and we also can set the charging current 50 amps but that's a little bit too high we can easily set that to 10 amps if we want it's okay because charging we never exceed 5 amps we shouldn't exceed 5 amps because the BMS just isn't built for that okay and we also want to look at uh, short circuit protection we set at 200 amps that's fine so these are all the safety parameters that you can play around with okay from the cell level to the total battery pack level right cell level to total battery pack level okay and we can sound an alarm when you can also you know it actually does sound an alarm by a beeping sound that you have uh, exceeded your um, your cell up, cell upper limit voltages or your lower limit voltages okay temperature protect in case you're you know, you're running at very high speeds and going up slopes you know off-road terrain uh, your temperature uh, gets you know, the temperature of your battery overheats and it gets into a, a high temperature situation we want to be able to cut off any uh, power discharge too so this is this allows you to do that right 75 uh, C Celsius is a reasonable temperature to cut off at right before your entire battery uh, spoil is spoiled right so it's pretty uh, it's, it's a reasonable temperature uh, to protect your upper limit of your uh, BMS okay so what else can you do uh, balance control starting voltage uh, to rebalance the cells uh, balance current you want as small as possible so the 180 milliamps is a very small current to you know start charging your voltage uh, your individual cells um, okay and once they hit 4.25 volts you know that's where it's uh, it stops balancing Okay, hall speed, cycle time, I don't think you have to care about that. Okay, so this is kind of cool, right? You can actually stop charging it remotely. I mean, as long as you're within Bluetooth distance. Or you can stop discharging it, which shuts off the scooter completely, right? So this is kind of the security feature right here. So, you know, if you turn this off, you can actually turn off your whole scooter uh, without anyone knowing. Okay, and then when you come back, you can actually start it back up, and you'll be able you'll be able to turn on the scooter again. Okay, so this shuts down the entire battery. Don't don't use that because it is a bitch, right? To try to restart it, so do not use that unless absolutely necessary. Okay, so only this two would be useful for you. All right, and that's it. Okay, so this is the variety of functions that you can you can see a variety of data that you can uh, gather from the smart BMS from the 010X Limited okay any questions just uh, drop us a comment um, subscribe if you find this useful in any way uh, the Android version is more or less the same right if you need the Android version drop us a comment too and we'll you'll do one up for you Okay, thank you. I want to show you real quick the security system for the Zero 10X Limited. Now, this is a battery app for the Limited battery. Right? It's a specially custom battery made by us. And it comes with an app with all the diagnostic information that you need for your app. Right? It shows you discharge rates, charge cycles, how many times it's been charged, 
Uh, it's got all kinds of parameters that you can set for the battery in terms of temperature controls and discharge rates. So, but the coolest thing, right, is that it's got an inbuilt security system. So as long as you have this app, right, you're able to control, tap off the button, it's off. Okay, now to turn it on, turn it on again. There you go. Boots up, voila. Okay, so that's how you turn on and off the limited battery.